While there may only be um, veterinarians working on dogs in the Army, working dogs are distributed throughout all of the forces. Um, there will be Navy, Air Force, Marines, and Army all with working dogs. So we will provide training to them if we are not unavailable. There are oftentimes very few veterinarians available um, to get to a canine casualty in a sufficient and timely manner. Um, so we train these guys on canine first aid and tactical combat care um, to help save the lives of the patients um, that they may be working with. The diesel dog is a robot dog that is used to help simulate um, a working dog in action. We use them to simulate real world experiences, real world injuries, uh, and we can practice procedures without actually harming a real patient in the process. And these dogs are capable of, of bleeding, they are capable of, of making noise, they will bark. You can hear their heart rate, feel their pulses, and they're a great training aid, especially if people don't have dog handling skills. One of these people may be saving a dog's life, and in turn that saves their handler's life because the, these dogs are family to their handlers, and these handlers will often have injuries of their own, and they will see their dog treated before they will get themselves treated. We may not be you know, the big flashy ER docs running the big hospital, but we are behind the scenes helping care for the overall health of the dogs and the soldiers.